guys welcome back for a new video if you are new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video or any other videos that i post so today i am going to be sharing my natural hair must-haves and that is in terms of my hair tools now i was into it so the first thing i have here now i never use this but basically this is for like when you blow dry your hair you know, like if you used to, like me, I used to when I had permed hair, I used to go to the Dominican hair salon and get it done. And they would use this brush on your hair, the powder brush. Yeah, so I got this in my Shea Moisture Ambassador box. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am an ambassador for the company Shea Moisture. And we got this in our first, first box. I just never used it. I blow dried my hair a couple of times, and but I never used it. So maybe I'll use it next blow dry session. The next thing before I thought like, why was everybody hyping up a Tangle Teaser? What is the point of it? But I went to Forever, Forever 21, maybe like I think two months ago, and I was literally in the line to pick up a package, and you see, this is how they get you. Anyway, so I saw this in the aisle, and I got it. So this is a Tangle Teaser. Um, there's multiple different ones. You can get them from different companies, different brands. But it has bristles, but you would think like they're rough, but honestly, they're not that rough. They're pretty, they just make that sound, but they're pretty soft on my hair. I don't feel like I'm breaking my hair or anything. Honestly, on a regular, I don't get a lot of shedding. So the only time I get so much shedding is if I have a protective style. So if you saw previous videos, you see how I have box rays. When I took them out, like my hair was just shedding, 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 shedding. Because like a whole month, you gotta think about it. Your hair sheds every day, technically. So accumulating like 30 plus days, it's gonna be a lot of hair. So I don't get like scared too much because I know I expect that shedding after I take out a protective style all the time. I, I expect it. Um, Next, this is my go-to brush. Now, if you see red stuff, that's because of my hair. Um, I do have a temporary dye. If you want to see that video, I'll put it at the end of this video of what I use to get my hair colored. Um, I said when my color is fully finished. I really only have color left on my ends now. Um, and after that grows out and I'm fully black, that's that. I'm not coloring my hair permanently again. But I have this hair dye, so when I want to be different like right now I just decided like midweek I want to put some hair dye I can put it on and it washes right off next wash so um yeah and that's why my brush is red it's probably gonna still be red for a while because I'm always like doing this and brushing my nape because it's always looking raggedy everybody's nape always looks raggedy you can't do nothing about that then these big combs, I haven't used this for a while. I feel like when I first started my natural hair journey, which was 10 years ago, I can't believe that. In December, I'm 10 years natural. Um, yeah, I was using the, this comb a lot, but honestly, I don't really use them. They just, they're just here. Then this, I used to use this comb when I did a lot of, um, when I used to deep condition, I used to use this comb. But now that I got the Tangle of Teaser, Tangle Teaser, I prefer the Tangle Teaser in, apart from this comb. But this comb's still good for like when you want to part your hair and stuff like that. Also this comb, but I feel like this comb is more rougher. I prefer to use this comb, this wide tooth comb. Then I have another one of these brushes. I used to use this brush when I first became natural. I think when I went away to school, I had like a set and my mom had bought me a set or something. And so I had this as well. Um, I don't really use this brush anymore. Like I said, it's just there. I use this more so because I don't know. I feel like this really slicks down my hair. There is a difference, honestly, in the brush. I don't know what. I think it's because this one has more spacing in it. So I don't know. But talking about that i think next week i'm gonna film a sleek bun i have a lot of ideas don't mind me um this i use a lot this brush really for when i wear wigs um i kind of want to purchase a wig i think i'm gonna wear a wig for my birthday this year like i did i believe i did that no last year i didn't wear a wig actually I'm doing it. um but this is normally what i use to brush down my wigs and stuff like that and get all the shed hair out of my voice. That's so this doesn't even count as natural hair too, but hey, we have it in there. Next, okay, so 
I only bought another one of these because I thought I lost this one, but what happened here? It got bended, so I guess it's good I bought this one. This one is way bigger. I love my pick, you know, I gotta always pick my puff so it's up and yeah so and the strength is just coming right now i do have a video i mean not a video i have a picture i may insert it in here i haven't done a lot go and check so if you follow my instagram you should do that now like asap i'm gonna put it down below it's in the description box as well so you can just click it and follow me because i feel like that's where you can see like everyday things things that are going on through the week so yeah but then i did my lunch check there and you can see you know my hair definitely grew from april so i did like not a big chop but i trimmed a lot of my hair off and a lot of the color too i would say so it's been a while, but my hair grew back, so I didn't feel too bad because now my hair is grew back to where it was. Next, this is basically like the cheap version of a dem. It's a dem brush, but a cheaper version. Um, I haven't used this in a while. Oh, I actually need to clean that. Look at that. That's just not okay. But anyway, I haven't used it for a while. I used to use it a lot. I should probably go back to using it because I think it would be good to just distribute the prop distribute the property distribute the product in your hair like when you're doing whatever hairstyle you're doing on your natural hair so I think that would, that's good for that and then I have another one of these combs I just got a bunch of combs I think I accumulated combs from getting them from my mom too and then they just stuck with them. and then I have this this is for when I shampoo see so I got the shampoo brush and I got the the tangle teaser for deep conditioner so I'm set um I think I'm gonna buy a new one though because this one is starting to get I don't know it's starting to crack and stuff I may so when I originally when I first did this video and I showed this baby baby bliss pro one which is like I think two dollars it's not expensive I said I wasn't gonna get the vibrating one because it's more it's not expensive expensive but I was like this is cheaper but the vibrating one the thing about the vibrating one is you don't got to do work my hand starts hurting enough you know when you wash your hands am I the only one your hands be looking like they wrink they don't look they, they look wrinkled every time I wash my hair like that wash day process so I think that would definitely would relieve my hands a little bit so I may just buy me of the vibrating one I think I'm gonna just invest in it because it really saved me from doing like this the whole time throughout my whole head next these are my fave clips I normally use this when I have my twist outs or whatever well not whatever style normally yeah normally twist outs or like flat twist um, I like to keep just to kind of keep some type of stress even though I have so much shrinkage it's crazy like when you see where my hair is compared to where it what it looks like it's like what that's shrinkage but they say when you have shrinkage that means your hair is healthy so hey I can't complain right that means my hair is healthy and then these I use I actually have one now um, but it's a different brand the one I th they're both goodie I know they're both goodie but this one is a, like a thinner one so I have it I use these for when I want to put my hair up in a high puff and it's not too tight. Like right now, I honestly forget that I have it on because it's not tight. I don't feel it because you don't you don't want to put these stuff in your hair and then make it too tight so where it's pulling your hair up. And then these small ones, these are also goodie, the goodie brand. I like the goodie brand clearly because um, a lot of the stuff I get is goodie. But this is this little small scrunchies and these are good for when you have low I use these for my low puffs to just hold everything back oh and of course um hairpins which I feel like you always lose hairpins for some reason but yeah but that's it for my natural hair phase let me know down below um what natural hair tools you like to use and let me also know maybe if there's one that I mentioned that you didn't know of and you might glitch yourself. Um, but that is it for this video. Make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.